sucking all you luck. Going harder than me. And that's how you assert dominance. Hey, what's up guys? It's JKK Tag and today we're bringing to you Mortar Bait. I haven't played Mortar Bait in a fat minute because it's one of my least favorite decks in the game and I will admit that to you guys. I just don't like the premise of Mortar Bait just because there's so much bait. I feel like it's just a little bit skillless. The spam is just overwhelming and the only thing that you really have to do is stagger out your units so you don't give too much spell value. Let's go jump straight into some GCs and let's assert some dominance. All right, we're going to start off the game with Spear Goblins at the river, and we're going to see what's up. Ooh, he's going to go for an Ice Wizard, so he's definitely going to have multifarious spells. Probably going to be a Cannon Cart Control deck. I'm going to go for a Miner to apply more aggression in the safe spot so he can't NATO it, because after seeing Ice Wizard, most likely going to be a NATO deck. I'm also going to go split my Rascals. So he's going to go for a Miner. Okay, so this is a Miner Control variation. I'm going to end up going for a Mortar because I don't want the Ice Wizard to lock onto my tower. He might poison this. He's just going to Cannon Cart. Okay. So what I have to do here is I probably end up having to go in for a goblin gang because I can't let that cross the river and get on top of my tower. That's way too much damage if it does. Girl Rascal might be coming through. I'm going to go for spear goblins for some extra chip damage because the girl rascal is going to be tanking a little bit. He goes in for a Valkyrie. Okay, so now I'm in an interesting situation where I could have minored on defense, but I'm just going to drop minion horde instead. He might go in for an ice wizard. It would make sense for him to do so, and he does. Didn't have enough elixir for that. I would have loved to. We're still going to get a lot of damage on the Ice Wizard, so we're still fine with this. The Ice Wizard is walking in the right-hand lane, the healthier tower for us. I guess I'm going to eat that. And then he's probably going to end up going in again, so I'm going to go split my Rascals. Really want to get damage on that. And I'm going to go for an inside miner. So here we go. He's going to end up dropping a cannon card, so that was well played on his end. The... Uh, Mega Minion doesn't matter, and the Cannon Cart dies. That is really good for us. If the Cannon Cart crosses the river, it makes me spend at least two more Elixir. He's low on Elixir, so I'm actually going to apply Aggression. If he poisons us, it doesn't matter to me. His Cannon Cart is out of cycle, so he doesn't have the best answer to the Mortar. His best, undeniably best counter to the uh, Mortar is always going to be Cannon Cart. It's far out of cycle. We killed it on his side of the map. So Andy doesn't have anything for this. He's just going to eat it up. Because he realizes if he drops like an Ice Wizard into us, well, no, he doesn't realize. I thought he did. <laughs> I gave him a little bit too much credit. He's not going to actually break through. Like the mortar's still going to end up killing everything. Then he goes in for a poison, so he's playing super aggressive. I'm going to go in for Rascals. Rascals will slaughter the miner senselessly. And then I'm also going for a mortar, because he might go for a log. I don't want him to hit the Rascals and the mortar on one fell swoop. I also want to get some more damage on that side. So he went for a poison, right? He doesn't have an answer to the minion horde. Absolutely nothing. Unless you want to go Ice Wizard, and that's not going to do enough. Not enough, dude. I mean, you can like do whatever you want there, but... You're not making it happen. I'm going to end up going in for another Miner. I'm going to go in for Goblin Gang. He ended up logging that. It was a little bit of a bad play by me, but it's fine. I can just keep going in. I can just defend really casually here. I'm going to end up going for Rascal, splitting one of the Rascals on the left-hand side in case he goes in for a Miner. So him going for a Can Card is a little bit sketchy. I do end up having to go for a Minion Horde right on top. The reason I'm doing that is I just don't want the Cannon Card to break through. The only way I ever lose this game is if the Cannon Card breaks through. Inside Miner is the spot that he never guesses. So I'm just going to go for a Fireball. I mean, better players always guess it, but GC players never do. So you go for that placement almost every single time against GC Legends. And then I uh, usually just cop the W. So I'm going to just Fireball him out at this point. I'm really just saving up because I know that the Cannon Cart will take my tower if he goes in for it. So I can't let that happen. He kind of has to go for a Poison at the River and he's not doing it. So yeah, there it is. It's not going to matter. He did it a little bit too late. I'm going to go cycle Spear Goblins. I'm not going to cycle Miner because I cycled Spear Goblins, 2 Elixir, 3 Elixir Miner. rather just get to Fireball and finish off the dub. GG, well played. Peace out, Girl Scout. Much love, man. I'm going to be saucing out a good luck, giving him a Royal Hog Shake. I'm going to be zapping the Goblin Gang pronto. I'm going to finish off the Goblin Gang and actually, no, the Steve. The Steve. Well, Steve, that was not allowed. Not in this juncture, sir. So uh, he got so much damage, unwarranted damage that was not welcomed here. We're going to have to make him have some payback. Kind of want to go in for a Mortar of our own. Okay, so he's going to go for a Packer. We're just going opposite lane. He doesn't have enough Elixir to defend this. He's going to be super sketchy for him. He's dropping units into bait, which is never fun. When you're running P.E.K.K.A. and you're running into a bait deck, he's going to be spread so thin, and I can just go for a Minion Horde right on top of the P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A. dies, and then, you know, like the P.E.K.K.A. It was dropped in the back for 7 Elixir. And he got absolutely nothing out of it. So that's very unfortunate. Whenever you see a P.E.K.K.A. in the back, you rush opposite lane. And then you can deal with the P.E.K.K.A. with other swarm units very cost efficiently. And as a result, look at how much damage he incurs on the right-hand side. So we punished him really, really hard. We didn't just 
cycle units aimlessly into the Pekka because that's how you let them like build up a huge push. He could drop like Royal Ghost. He could Fireball Poison everything. No, we play dirty, guys. We do Guerrilla Warfare. We end up going opposite side. We hit him from all angles. So, what's up with that, dude? Oh, all right. So he's just going to poison. He straight up poisons like split rascals. That's really good for us as well. I love splitting my rascals when they have log. When they have the tendency to log it. So in this case scenario, I actually want to go for a defensive mortar because I don't really know exactly what he wants to do. And I want to go for a higher goblin gang to make sure that we pull those minions. I need those minions to go towards the mortar and not towards our tower. As a result, we're doing pretty well. I just need to go for spear goblins. Then I think I want to go in for a miner. The reason I'm going for a miner here is if it ends up, or if the bandit ends up killing the miner, then it's going to go walk towards our tower. It's not going to go ch dash towards it. And it's uh, going to have to like walk. It's not going to actually like, I don't know, full on sprint towards us. So I'm pretty happy about that. Yeah, obviously he's not very happy about it. Go for another goblin gang. And I've identified that we're in a pretty amazing situation where I can go for another mortar. I can go for spear goblins yet again. I can go for a miner. And I think he's going to have to deal with that, with the zap, and then he doesn't have an answer to the minion horde unless he pre-poisons, which he doesn't, right? Okay, now he poisons, but... I have a defensive mortar on the field, and I love doing this as well. So, that mortar is going to defend the other mortar that we have on the map. Or it should be helping out the other mortar that we have on the map. I don't know why I didn't go for a miner on top of the tower. I don't know why I minored on defense there. I guess I just really didn't want that bandit to connect, and I didn't have anything else in cycle. I was a little bit scared, guys. I was shaking in my boots. We're still fine though. We're still vibing. I'm going to go for another minion horde. And that should still shred the P.E.K.K.A. I don't really know what he's going to do about it. I'm going to fireball those minions. Go for another mortar. I'm going to go in for goblin gang. I'm going to play a little bit more offensive. I'm going to also go in for a miner. He goes in for a zap. But guys, as soon as that bandit gets closer to us, we're going to be vibing. Miner's on top of the tower. It's really hard for him to defend against the miner and the mortar when he's down elixir. GG. Well played and peace out, Girl Scout. Much love. All right, starting off the game with Goblin Gang at the river goes Skelly, so he's probably going to be running a cycle deck. Yeah, yeah, so he's going to go in for a Valkyrie. Probably going to be Hog Rider with Valkyrie cycle, maybe. Could also be three Muskies, Royal Hogs. I'll have to wait and see. Regardless, we have a counter push, so we're going to go augment this with our Mortar. Might go for 3M, so he's probably going to run the three Musketeer variation, right? He does it. Okay, yeah, he's definitely rocking 3M. So... What I've learned in this situation is I want the Hunter to lock on. Go Minion Horde here. And then I don't know what he has to defend this. I don't think he has anything. He doesn't have Fireball. He just loses his tower, right? Yeah. GG. <laughs> I, I realized, like, he just didn't have the card cycle. He didn't have Fireball and cycle. His Hunter, I'm not going to waste my Minion Horde on defending, like, one hit. It doesn't matter to me. Also, I'm going to let one Musketeer lock on here. Then I'm going to go in. I'm going to zap the skeletons to make sure they die. Musky gets like a couple hits. Finish off the musky on the left. And this is already our game, guys. Mortar punishes so hard. You spank them silly when they make one misplay. When they don't have their card cycle, you automatically win the game. So that's why Mortar is kind of fun to play and really annoying to play against. Because if you don't have a good card cycle, like say I didn't know my opponent's card cycle. I just went for a minor minion horde. I can just win games, and I can be really bad at the game, and I can win against a much better player if my opponent just doesn't have the card cycle. Obviously, in that situation, when I dropped my minor minion horde, it was a calculated decision. That's what the better minor minion horde players do, but the thing is, with this deck, you can have a lot of lower skill tier players playing it and getting lucky with card cycle, and that's the thing that annoys me, and that's why I don't play this deck as often as a lot of people have been asking me to. Regardless, guys, this deck is really, really strong. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to fireball the two muskies. Oh, we're going to clip royal hogs as well. That was that was kind of brutal. You guys should have shielded your eyes. I don't know if that was PG-13 or not. I'm going to go for another mortar. I actually misplaced it a little bit, but it will not matter. I could three-crown this guy. I had insult to injury, quite frankly. I'm going to go rascals here. I think he's going to have to commit a lot of elixir. Yeah, he goes 3M. I guess that might have been a bad play for us going in for the, uh, the minor, but it doesn't really matter too much. It really doesn't. So I'm going to end up fireballing Minion Horde on the other side. And then I can go Spear Goblins. And he's not going to do anything. The The Royal Hogs will get some nice damage on the right hand side. But I realized the left hand side had more priority. I had to actually defend the lower HP tower. Made sure that I allocated my Minion Horde there. 
Now I'm just going to go drop a defensive mortar and sauce out a good game. A well played and a peace out Girl Scout to this legend. We just abused him silly with that minor minion horde. It is so good. That's why we call it the skill horde, guys. That's what's up. Splitting Rascals in the back same lane as this legend. So pretty nice start for us. I'm going to go for Spear Goblins as well. Looks like he's probably going to be running a mortar deck or some type of bait deck as well. I'm going to wait for my minions to disperse so then he doesn't get too much value if he fireballs. I'm going to split my Goblin Gang so then his mortar is really having some targeting issues. It doesn't know what to do. It's the most indecisive thing on this earth. Oh, please get a hit off on the Girl Rascals. Yes! That's clean. I love it. Going to go in for another set of Rascals. What does he want to do here? I don't want to give him a nice juicy log value. I'm not going to go drop Spear Goblins just yet. What is he going to do here? Okay. That what I expected. Those goblins don't matter. Or those bats don't matter at all. I want to go opposite lane. So since we don't have log, it's kind of not a great thing for us. Zap all those. Spear goblins don't matter because he's not going to mind. Oh, he does. I really didn't think that was a possibility at all because it's not the lane that he wants to. And then he logs? What? Okay. Alright, so I'm thinking that he doesn't have a big spell. I'm going to go in for another Mortar. I should have split the Rascals. Yikes. He fireballs them when they were already going to die. He didn't expect me to make such a bad play. Or maybe he didn't know that interaction that the uh, Rascals were just going to die. I'm not sure. Regardless, we're going to go in. Because he split one of the Rascals on the side that doesn't matter. I'm also going to zap that to keep our Miner alive. And I think the Minion Horde might just do him dirty. He's trying to draw the minions off his lane, but it's not really working. Then he has to fireball again. So in this situation, I like it. I can totally vibe with this. Spear goblins are going to get hit. Okay, definitely fireballing. Going for another miner because we're going to get another mortar hit. A hey, spear goblin still alive. I'm going to have to zap all that junk. Go for it. Oh, the spear goblins of mine were horrible. Yikes. He also goes in for a pre-log. He doesn't capture everything. That was a little bit scary. A little bit scary. We're going for another mortar. Go for Rascals off to the side here. Trying to disperse those mortar shots. It's a priority for us. Inside Miner. Gonna get ready with a Fireball. Nope, not worth Fireballing that. Definitely not worth Fireballing that. Spear Goblins to maybe finish off the mortar, please. I'm going to go split Goblin Gang in case he goes in for a Miner. Drop it in the back. I'm going to go for another set of Rascals as well. Can't let Thick Boy have its way with us. Inside Miner is the play. So then we can also Fireball the Mortar and get it out of sight if he drops anything near. So we're going to Fireball the Mortar. I want that gone from this Earth. Maybe get some extra hits with our Mortar. I think that might have just won the game. That Inside Miner was so fire, boys. Going for another set of Spear Goblins at the River. I'm getting ready. So I don't really care about that at all. I don't. I'm going to go in for another zap. Going to split Rascals. We're going to go outside because we've been doing the same placement every single time. There's no way that he's going to expect that. Oh, he did. He shouldn't have because we did the same placement every single time. I feel like he should have caught on to that. I don't know. He got us. Maybe he reads our mind. GG. Well played. Peace out, Girl Scout. Much love. That was a close game and definitely a pretty difficult opponent. GG. Well played, man.